Well, I mean, for example, John Sally, who's a regular on the show, who's played on a bunch of teams, really explained to me that when you're a player, it doesn't even matter how high of a player you are, you don't really talk to the owner. There's there's a separation. There's the coach, there's a general manager, and then yeah. there's the owner, and the owner's, you know, he's busy doing other stuff. Like, usually, the you know, the sports team is like a small part of his portfolio. Yeah. Well, I think there's a there's a handful of owners that are really into the game now. And for huh. I would agree with John for about maybe 75% of that. But, you know, the Bombers and the Cubans and the guys that are there front okay. row and talk, there's some interaction there. Yeah. Uh, normally, it's only for the superstars or the high-level players. You know what I mean? I was always just respectful when I seen the owners. Yeah, I know he didn't really want to talk to me. I wasn't tripping. I keep it moving. You know, you can talk to the stars. I'm not tripping off that. But there are a handful of owners that are kind of really interactive. Um. You know, but outside of that, it, it is. You really don't deal with them. So, you know, when it came to us playing for him, it wasn't like we were playing for Sterling. You know what I mean? Like we took pride in, you know, just trying to bring some life to a franchise that has been the doormat of the league for 30 plus years. Right. I mean, have the Clippers ever won a no. championship no. at all? Have they ever been to the finals? No, we won the first Pacific Division championship with that Lob City team. And then Paul George took them when Kawhi got hurt. Paul George took them to the Western finals. Um, so that's as far as they, they've as ever been. As far as they'll go. Yeah, I mean, you guys are like uh, like Atlanta. <laughs> <In a way. laughs> I think the Clippers. I mean, the Clippers could stay healthy this year. I mean, with Kawhi back, he's looking big and and, and strong and rested. And you know, Ty Lue's a hell of a coach over there. PG picking up John Wall, who has, who has a lot to prove. I think the Clippers are going to be you know someone to be reckoned with this season. Okay, so so Robert Sarver after that one year suspension, ten million dollar fine, got a lot of backlash. It seemed like the NBA stepped up and essentially forced him to sell the team. I don't think anyone voluntarily sells. Yeah, an I mean, NBA we never team. know what goes behind closed doors, but then you see, you know, when, when money starts talking, you know, when their lead sponsors start dropping, you know, mm -hmm. I want to say one of them was AT&T and another one was going to drop, PayPal. you know, yeah, PayPal. Once you start getting big sponsors dropping, it's just, you know, you're putting your team in a bad situation, in a bad light, you know, so whether it was his decision or people in his corner. Um, you know, they ultimately made a right decision. He made he made a mistake, but it's you know it's an unforgivable one. And again, the way he carried himself and moved around, you know, people knew what this dude was about for a long time, and he finally put his foot in his mouth. So you know, like I said, it, with everything he got, he deserved. But you know, on, on the flip side, he's going to be you know I want to say he's a thirty percent. He's a majority owner, so thirty six percent, I think. So he's going to get a lot of money off the situation. So well, he made a statement about it. He said, as a man of faith. I believe in atonement and a path to forgiveness. I expected that the commissioner's one-year suspension would provide the time for me to focus, make amends, and remove my personal controversy from the teams that I so many that I and so many fans love. But in our current unforgiving climate, it has become painfully clear that it is no longer possible. That whatever good I have done or could still do is outweighed by things I have said in the past. For those reasons, I am beginning the process of seeking buyers for the Suns and Mercury. Someone wrote that shit for him. <laughs> except, 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 except like the part where this, you know, cancel culture stuff he spoke on. But that, that, that was all scripted. That's not even how he talks or moves. So I don't even listen to shit like that. Yeah. Everyone's focusing on the unforgiving climate part of that part of that statement yeah. basically saying in cancel culture yeah, it's, so it's, it's no one could forgive say, me yeah. boohoo yeah. i have to sell my team yeah i mean it's like i said he, he he put his foot in his mouth one too many times <laughs>